What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create basic lighting effects. So first off guys, you will need to get this picture, I will leave a link to it in the description down below, you don't even need it, you can use your own banner, header, it really doesn't matter, but if you want to practice on this picture, I will leave a link in the description down below, of course it's Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad, so what we're going to do is start off with the original picture, so I'm just going to close down this group, so as you guys can see right now, all we have is just the picture itself in its own group, so the first step is making a brand new layer, uh, go to the brush tool and all you have to do is grab a sort of around about a thousand size brush make sure it's selected as black and now just add this black brush on these sides of the picture make sure your hardness is on 0% you don't want to actually put it on the main focus point so the main focus point is of course Harley Quinn just make it around her and then just lower down the opacity of this to around about 65% so I'm just going to do 65% and then after you've done that you then want to make a brand new layer once again this time grab a little bit of a smaller brush so around about size 500 and this time do the black brush but make it a bit smaller so don't cover too much of the picture and then once you've done that you can lower down the opacity of this even more to 35% and the last uh, black brush effect we are going to add is one more we're going to decrease the brush size even more to around about 200 it really doesn't matter uh, you just want to have a small black brush effect on the sides this just provides a little bit of detail on the sides and lower down the opacity of this one even more to 25% once you guys have done that you then want to make a brand new layer once again this time grab a brush size of around about 1000 and then just grab the white brush tool if you do need to zoom out of your image uh, just press ctrl minus so like I said before make sure the color is white and then just hit that brush at the top of the picture you can use as much white as you want I'm just gonna put it there and I'm also gonna lower down the opacity of this to around about 70% so guys now what you want to do is make a brand new layer once again this time get a brush size of around about 200 I would say and uh, make sure it is the color white like I said before and just hit random points on the actual picture itself that you want to focus on so I'm just gonna hit the hair or uh, also the baseball bat just hit random points in the picture and change the blending option of this to overlay as you can see here it adds a really nice lighting effect to the picture or your banner whatever you are using so guys now you will need to use one of my packs this is my exclusive CC pack uh, version 2 actually I will leave a link to this in the description down below and also which is optional you can go ahead and download my uh, lighting pack in my lighting pack I have all sorts of stuff which you can add to your banners and headers this is quite an old pack though so I know a lot of people won't actually have that so that's why I didn't mention it but make sure you have my CC pack version 2 now I'm not actually going to show Show you which CCs are the best um, I'm gonna show you the ones that I already added so I'm just gonna copy them and show you the exact ones so as you can see here as soon as you add the CC's it makes it look so much better so the CC's I am using is uh, CC 20 that's on 14% opacity uh, CC 14 that's on 42% opacity uh, also CC number 4 that's on 45% uh, CC 10 that's on 94% and CC18 that's on 50% if you want to get the same sort of look then just copy that make sure they are in that order so 20, 14, 4, 10 and 18 and make sure they're on the same opacity and you will get the same effect but if you are using your own header or banner you just have to mess around with the CC's just have a look see which one works best with your header or your design so guys now that I've done those CC's I'm gonna make a brand new layer once again and I'm gonna do that white uh, sort of brush effect once again so I'm just gonna hit random points in the picture that we want to focus on uh, sort of like our eyes and then just change the blending option of this to overlay and as you can see this creates a really nice effect and it also highlights the reds and blues in the color correction so guys the next lighting step just make a brand new layer once again just grab the brush tool make sure the size of it is around about a thousand and just do the same brush effect we did at the start just hit at the top of the picture and then lower down the opacity of this to around about 50%. So guys, once you have done that, you then want to go and just mess around with the brightness and contrast. Like I said, it really depends on what picture you are using. You may want to uh, decrease the brightness, increase the brightness. It really depends. So I'm just going to actually increase the contrast 
and also increase the brightness. That looks really nice. And one other thing that I like to do on my designs is add a vibrance. So we're just going to go here. This time we're going to select vibrance and we're going to up the vibrance. And as you can see, that just brings out all of the colors in the picture. Maybe 100 vibrance is a bit too much. So I'm just going to actually lower this one down a bit. Let's do it to around about 60. That looks good. So as you can see, I just pasted in the original image. This is with no color corrections, no lighting effects. And then this is it with it. So it makes it looks so much better. You can really improve your headers and banners by doing all of these techniques. So I hope this did help you guys. If it did, make sure to leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Once again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. This has been Visual or James, and I'm out. Peace. No!